we do not have to accept this. After all, the more you look at it, the more it, more corrupt the whole situation of Brexit is. There was Aaron Banks overspending. There was Cambridge Analytica. There was Russians interference in spreading fake news. We demand a people's vote. We demand a people's vote. You want the people's vote. You want the people's vote. We had 17.4 million people who voted to leave the European Union. We are part of Europe. No, I'm sorry, but when the fascists attack, we fight back. I've got my banner. I'm a protester. <laughs> We're here today to show the human cost of Brexit, to say that we have been in limbo for 935 days and still our rights haven't been ring-fenced, both the, the rights of EU citizens in the UK and UK in the EU. A number of important companies, in, especially in the uh, automotive industry, the aerospace industry, and the pharmaceutical industry have said that they are going to make new investments on continental Europe and they are going to close down or reduce their investment in Britain. Je suis Nicolas Laton, uh, un des fondateurs de The Three Million, l'organisation qui représente les Européens au Royaume-Uni. Alors aujourd'hui, je suis là parce qu'il y a deux ans et demi, il y a un référendum qui uh, nous enlève nos droits de citoyens européens. You can have a, uh a highly qualified doctor from India who will struggle to get a place here, whereas someone who can operate, operate a till in your local coffee shop will get a place straight away because they just they have a European um, they have European citizenship and that's not right. Good luck English. First Brexit, second Brexit. Shall be slain.